Well, for some, it's a sound machine. For others, it's a really loud fan. Many of us need white noise to put us to sleep. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield is digging into this phenomenon, and tonight's good question, why does noise help us sleep? It seems like it should be the most simple thing we do, but we all know sleeping can get complicated. Are you a good sleeper? I would say so, a light sleeper. A light now sleeper. Now that I had a baby recently. <laughs> it really does it to you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> two coworkers with two different sleeping styles. I'm usually good on eight hours. Something they do have in common? I like some white noise, like a fan running. We have a machine, um, I, or otherwise I'll put a fan on, typically. So you have a sound machine every night? Yeah. Yeah, otherwise I use an app. She says her baby does too. In fact, in a small study, 80% of newborns who heard white noise fell asleep within five minutes. A more recent study shows white noise makes people fall asleep 38% faster. My wife is one of those people. She likes some background noise. I prefer silence, and I think patients are the same way. You know, there is no single answer for everyone, every person. Dr. Steam is a sleep specialist with Alina Health. Why does noise actually make us sleep? The noise in the background helps to quiet some of the arousal stimuli out there to get the brain ready to be turned off. So even though we're hearing more sound, it's actually making us less disturbed? Right, and so if there's that one big noise popping out in the background, but you've got white noise in the way, it doesn't stand out. Can you kind of get addicted to the white noise? You get addicted to the routine. So children and, uh, and, and adults, it's all about the routine. And so if you get used to white noise, you're gonna want white noise. And many of us do. What if it was completely silent? You didn't have that I noise. I hate it. I hate the white. If there's nothing, I, I hate it. In St. Paul, <laughs> sleep good. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. Research is now being done on sleep and pink noise. It's a lower pitched, more flat sound like steady rain. Dr. Seam says his advice to anyone is give background noise a try. If you don't like it, no harm, but could make you sleep better. If you have a good question for us, just email us through WCCO.com links.